I've been waiting for this moment uh, for a couple of weeks and now I have the chance to let you know that I'm starting a training. I've managed to upgrade my transal with a couple of accessories starting with the uh, off-road tires, proper handguards, skid plate, crash bar, engine guard, rally foot pegs, even a comfort seat. The question is, did I upgrade myself? Did I upgrade my skills, my riding skills, especially my off-road riding skills? The answer is no, I haven't upgraded my skills so far. Therefore, I'm starting a training. I'm gonna train by myself off-road with my Honda Transalp. I will try to learn from YouTube, from my friends and see if this is possible. If it's possible to learn proper off-road skills with a big adventure bike as uh, the Honda Transalp, I will try to make it. How will I do it? Well, I'm gonna take it, of course, step by step. There will be a series of uh, episodes which will be collected in a series called Off-Road with Honda Transalp. These episodes will be included in a series which uh, will be uh, presented as a playlist on my YouTube channel. But how will I do it? I will try to start from zero. Why not to hero? <laughs> Uh, from zero to hero, is it possible? Is it possible uh, by not participating to off-road courses? Is it possible by yourself to learn these skills? Or do you need uh, guidance? Do you need uh, someone to tell you that you're making a mistake? Well, I saw myself uh, in a couple of pictures, which I did last year. And uh, I've noticed quite a lot of mistakes, especially uh, on the riding position the way my foot were keeping the bike, the way my hands and so on and so forward. I, I've saw, I saw quite a lot of mistakes and uh, I will try to learn from those mistakes. Of course, I will make a lot of mistakes during my, uh, my training and you are always, always welcome to comment and uh, I will listen very carefully to your advices also, uh, to your comments, to your uh, to your opinion, your feedback, your feedback will be also important and will be somehow requested. First of all, riding off-road with uh, such a big adventure bike, uh, it's always a challenge. And especially if you're starting from zero. Regarding my off-road experience, I've ridden uh, in the past with my Honda NC750X, but it was a very light gravel, some mud uh, from time to time, but nothing, uh, nothing uh, hard. And even with my Honda Transalp, I've ridden a couple of gravel roads and let's say a medium uh, off-road uh, with rocks on the rain. But that was it, nothing, uh, nothing special. And I could not develop, uh, let's say, proper, or I could not uh, invest time in my uh, training as an off-road rider with my bike, with my Honda Transalp especially. So now I'm trying to uh, start this off-road training to start uh, developing or upgrading my skills. And there is no better way than practice, practice and practice. I also had a, a challenge on my first uh, off-road attempt by climbing a very uh, small uh, hill with big rocks. I even stole the bike a couple of times and I was not able to pass uh, that light uh, hill. And now it's the time after investing uh, in these accessories for the bike, uh, it's time to invest in my skills. Perhaps uh, it should have been done uh, the opposite. First, invest in uh, your skills and then uh, take the bike and do what you please with it. But first, uh, I think would have been better to start with uh, upgrading the skills. There are plenty of off-road courses. This whole adventure, uh, off-road adventure segment, training courses, this uh, has been taken, uh, let's say it has become very popular. More and more people are offering these off-road uh, courses, uh, which are very useful. They are very well done. They are uh, somehow based on uh, people's experience. There are teachers over there which uh, they can learn 
where they can teach you quite well uh, riding off-road I will try to make it by myself to see if it's possible but I'm not gonna do it completely by myself because could be that I could ride with someone or I could uh, participate even myself to some events or to some uh, specific courses, one day courses, two day courses, I don't know yet, but could be that uh, I will combine this learning process uh, first by myself and then combine it with the um, other courses. Tomorrow I'm gonna participate to an event called the uh, Adventure Riders Challenge which will take place uh, in an organized uh, motocross uh, park. will be really challenging. I didn't know that uh, from the pictures uh, I thought first I thought that it would be an easy ride for amateurs but uh, from the pictures seems like tomorrow we're gonna have some <laughs> some uh, fun so to speak. So I'm looking forward and I'm gonna film everything there of course and all the details from tomorrow you're gonna find it out in the next video. So now let's start. Basically I came to this place. Let's check it out a little bit. This is a very nice uh, forest somehow close to my home place. I was able to come here and uh, take the bike here just to make the introduction the purpose is to go there is a field over there which we're gonna go and try to accommodate uh, first with the riding position by the way i bought this uh, <laughs> this uh, somehow cross boots from uh, o'neill o'neill air mx i'm gonna speak about them later it's a challenge also riding with these ones uh, they are totally different than the adventure touring uh, boots it's very challenging uh, changing the uh, the gears shifting the gears especially up shifting i had to first adjust my clutch lever how to adjust the clutch lever by the way you have uh, these two to tighten up washers you can loose them up and then uh, turn this bar this metal bar turn it to the left and then you can lift up this uh, clutch lever in order to make space for the wider boot you know and to be able to upshift properly you know and uh, yeah it's it's quite a challenge so uh, so these are small details uh, and we're not even started why I've bought this Mita Sandro Trail XT Dakar version? Well, this is a part of the preparation because I thought, okay, I'm not, a, I'm starting from zero as an off-road rider. Let me have uh, proper tires just to gain some confidence because um, maybe you know or you don't know. Confidence is very important when you're riding off-road, especially when you need to climb or to pass a difficult uh, part confidence is part of your success therefore i prefer to have one of the best off-road tires in order to gain some confidence uh, i don't have too much skills off-road but when you have confidence you have the feeling that you can move the mountains and these tires are a good start let's check out the rear man it's a uh, very aggressive and it also catches uh, impressively on the sides you can see that uh, it has this profile it's very aggressive profile even uh, on the sides it can help you quite a lot with rocks mud sand but the tire is just a part of the equation you know uh, you could have the best tire in the world if you're the riding skill is zero let's check out the front also a uh, knobby tire different profile uh, it's a uh, quite soft i must say uh, the knobbies are very soft and uh, of course they are very good off-road but uh, we get to the point when we're speaking about the on-road because these are 20 percent on-road and 80 percent off-road 
Speaking about preparation, you know that the Honda Transalp has an inner tube. It doesn't have a tubeless wheel. Therefore, uh, my mechanical skills are not very good. I don't want to make a flat. I don't want to make a flat off-road. And I found a solution that can eliminate, in my opinion, 99.9999% of the chances to make uh, flat. This tire is a Dakar version of the uh, Mitas. This Dakar compound, this ultra heavy duty compound, somehow eliminates the chances to have a flat during your off-road uh, ride. But this is not enough. This was not enough for me. I have added inside an inner tube from Michelin with ultra heavy duty compound <laughs> with a four millimeter inner tube. So, in my opinion, this, this combo of uh, inner tube plus uh, tire, we have a ultra heavy duty inner tube from Michelin with a ultra heavy duty compound from this Mitas Dakar version. I think it's almost impossible to make a flat. And this was also part of my preparation for the off road riding. Because what's the purpose of riding off road if you, let's say, uh, are riding anxious that oh man I'm gonna make a flat or maybe I don't want to lose time uh, replacing the inner tube then I think this is my solution for the moment what do you think the first thing I'm gonna try it's uh, find out the proper riding position how do I do it I watch YouTube videos there are plenty online, plenty YouTube videos. I'm going to mention some of them in the video description. I'm going to watch these professionals showing uh, how to do it, how to have a uh, proper riding position, how to uh, keep your hands, how to uh, grab your bike, how to keep your legs, how to shift, how to brake. And I'm going to take all this information, filter them through my uh, head, <laughs> and then somehow delivered to myself first uh, by practicing and trying to uh, to implement those uh, those uh, trainings and then deliver them in these episodes so let's see from zero to hero or from zero to zero <laughs> we just have to see uh, time will tell we're gonna start with this episode this will be like a pilot episode uh, Honda Transalp off-road training or Honda Transalp off-road episode pilot then will come episode one two three and so forward and uh, yeah let's start all right this is the place where I came for this intro but actually, uh, I did my first mistake by uh, taking a trail that I'm not actually prepared for. So, uh, I just enter here for the prologue, for my intro. But actually, this is a type of uh, trail which you need some technique to come here with this adventure bike, this 200. 20 to 111 another tip which uh, I can give you is to ride with the petrol tank uh, very empty <laughs> this is uh, what I usually do when I come uh, off-road this time it's uh, somehow full <laughs> but uh, yeah this is uh, quite a quite a difference when you ride with the uh, 10 kilos less especially on the top side Let's start a little bit with the riding position because I've made plenty of mistakes and I usually kept my uh, my foot in the mid position or my standing position was uh, with my foot here. The correct position it's like this from uh, from my research from my YouTube uh, trainings which I saw by keeping this uh, here you actually have more control of the bike and you can place your center of gravity in order to help you control the bike especially in this uh, off-road conditions when you want to shift the gear then you can move your feet shift and then go back to establish your position in terms of hand and this is the position usually I use uh, two fingers 
think it's uh, quite useful to control the clutch from the left and the acceleration and brake from the right side and this will stop twisting too much your hand and uh, therefore accelerating uh, suddenly and this is the position also I can place my foot and uh, action the rear brake okay let's get out of here and have more uh, an open space of course this bike uh, for this bike you already know that you can uh, deactivate the traction control the ABS let's do it now yeah if you're riding uh, seated it will be more difficult because you're gaining uh, your uh, your weight will be distributed on top what you want to do is to distribute the weight uh, the bike will stall for for many more times from now on don't worry so what you want to do is to distribute your weight uh, as low as possible in order to control to control the bike all right and uh, by uh, using this uh, standing position it's helping quite a lot the first thing uh, which I did it's uh, accommodate with uh, knowing the bike, knowing the tires, try to ride with the lowest speed as possible. Maybe uh, not all the terrain, it's uh, not for all the terrain you need to apply this tactic. There are specific uh, terrains when you need to push it, you need to accelerate in order to pass. But uh, yeah, what's very important is to keep your keep your toes uh, stick to the bike because otherwise you risk to damage uh, by parts of the tree which are can really make a damage all right I'm trying to to run as slow as possible and control the bike in this uh, in this terrain this is a soft terrain with some leaves underneath this is a it's kind of a soft soil even some flowers it's spring we are in April beginning of April and uh, trying to enjoy the nature this is the big purpose why I uh, choose to the, the main purpose when I buy when I bought my Honda Transalp, my main purpose was to, was to access uh, roads, off-roads and uh, nice places. Of course you can access those places with uh, even with uh, other, any other bike. But uh, I'm pretty sure and I know that uh, the bike is not the limit. But the rider skills, uh, this, is, this is the actual limit, the rider skills. The bike is not a limit. We saw people with the Honda Goldwing making some serious uh, hill climb, serious off-road with the Honda Goldwing and uh, I'm complaining with the Honda Transal. So, no. You can do anything with almost uh, any bike. Uh, of course, with some limitations which are specific to every bike. It's single bike. This bike, let's say, uh, would have some limitation on the suspension, maybe on the ground clearance, but that's depending quite a lot uh, where you are using it. For example, you see when we're gonna try exiting this place, uh, we have a we have a place, we have a very steep uh, somehow part where the ground limit it's at its limit. <laughs> Here it is, let's check it out, here it is, but you see, we've passed uh, with no further issues and we've exited to this field, this playground, this is the, I'm very lucky that I found this uh, secret places, I'm not gonna tell anyone where is it. <laughs> Yes, and this, uh, these secret places uh, are allowing me to develop my skills 
we're gonna try uh, with easy we're gonna try it easy like this kind of road and then we're gonna progress by uh, increasing the difficulty step by step this is a process that takes time and also takes uh, devotion time devotion and uh, consistency and practice for example I'm very interested to to keep my correct position while riding because if you have a bad start on learning something for example if you're learning something and you think it's good oh I learned it very good it's good and you keep doing it and it's wrong then it will be difficult to go back somehow so I'm trying to to have a correct position to balance myself my body and uh, be one with the bike somehow I will try to be one with the bike of course uh, riding as slow as possible will help you will help you achieve this balance you see we have uh, almost we are standing so riding as slow as possible this will give you and this is giving me actually more confidence that I can control the bike uh, at higher speeds because if you can control the bike at very low speeds then why not uh, you can control it uh, later you have this uh, exercise and especially when you are in a uh, very tight situations I, I'm speaking like I'm a kind of a trainer <laughs> but actually uh, I repeat I'm starting from zero so zero is my starting point and let's say how much time do you need uh, of course the time which you gonna uh, the time you need for developing depends on each single person I would like to test my own so uh, all right I, I'm too forward with my foot I need to adjust them and have the position uh, close to the bike closed I need to close my angle and have my knees uh, very tight to the seat but not to back not to backwards and not too forward now I don't want to put pressure in the um, in the acceleration grip I don't want to put pressure on the handlebar or on the brake I just want to be balanced this is my purpose I want to be a balanced rider <laughs> let's balance ourselves and now let's uh, ride a little bit and try to uh, exercise braking braking and take taking off so uh, leaving take off and braking so let's accelerate now let's break a little bit we stop almost then we go I think this exercise is good and helps me yes just accelerating leaving and braking almost stopping but not stopping just uh, go with three kilometers per hour of course here there are people camping let's just say hi Buona ziua. all right so uh, riding off-road in my opinion means uh, standing position riding on a standing position of course uh, if you're having a very comfortable bike like I've ridden the BMW F900 GS Adventure for example with electronic suspension there are there are uh, trees like this or uh, gravel roads like this or county roads like this ones which uh, you actually don't need uh, to stand up <laughs> because the comfort it's uh, just amazing by standing on the you know but uh, What am I doing? 
I need to have uh, patience because you need to have patience of course this learning process uh, takes patience you know you you cannot uh, and the teachers will tell you if you're going to a teacher they will tell you you cannot uh, overpass certain steps there are steps after you complete after you succeed uh, promoting one step or one one skill then you go to another one if you're passing uh, from one to another then will be a total mess so today the first episode or the pilot episode is the one which i'm accommodating myself with the correct riding position on the bike i'm accommodating myself with new tires with the very aggressive pattern off-road tires and uh, different surfaces we have here uh, we had grass we had the uh, soil mud a little bit and now we have some uh, dry dry mud plus a little bit of sand so the bike guys uh, don't focus too much on the bike because the bike it's just a tool check out these guys la plage la plage Zi frumoasă, numai bine! <laughs> People are at the beach, but there is no uh, sand. <laughs> ok, let's, uh, let's try. Unfortunately, uh, I must show you that we are in the forest, but people are actually not taking care of the forest. Uh, check out the garbage. All this garbage around here, it's uh, so depressing. All right, so we're changing, we're changing the surfaces uh, all the time. So we need to adapt the riding style to different surfaces. So check it out. I think nowhere to go from this point. Instantly, the bike becomes more stable uh, as soon as you have the riding position, the uh, upper riding position, the standing position, so to speak. The bike, the center of gravity, uh, it's very low and uh, helps you enormously now let's speak uh, about the turning because turning left and right off-road it's a uh, different of course than turning left and right on the street and how it's done it's uh, basically putting the weight left and right on your feet and uh, then the bike goes where you want to go left or right what a nice feel man what a nice feel I love it so turning with this bike it's uh, quite easy if you leave the center of gravity on the right side on your right foot then you make right on your left you make it on the left so this is uh, actually how you balance your weight by balancing your weight from left to right you can uh, turn and avoid obstacles off-road even at a uh, little bit higher speeds uh, the turning is done uh, faster so uh, you can actually uh, avoid some obstacles by leaning your weight left and right on your feet You know, uh, this is what a trainer does. When you have a trainer, you don't have this uh, kind of uh, escapes, like speed uh, exaggerations.
But man, these boots are uh, giving me very, very much confidence and uh, very good stability. They might not be so uh, comfortable, uh, but they have plenty of protection. I will make a separate review about them. I need to write them more to give you my feedback. I not, I don't want to speak from the books. Okay, man, but uh, let's stop. Okay, wow, what a grip with these tires. Uh, again, uh, a lot of confidence which is gaining uh, when you have these proper tires. This was part of my preparation, having the bike somehow prepared, the tires, and uh, of course, now I need to gain more confidence, take it step by step. This is just the first episode. I just want to accommodate a little bit uh, with the bike and with the riding position, with the correct riding position, by the way. So let's, let's try to have this as a second nature. Uh, my feedback regarding the, the way I'm grabbing the bike on the Honda Transalp, I need to stop a bit to tell you something. Just a second. When I'm... Uh, all right, when I'm standing with my feet here to have the somehow the correct position, I'm touching this uh, frame with this part and somehow uh, it's not so it's not so comfortable. You know, I have this part or I think this is it. Yes, this is the welding point. This is the welding point which uh, I'm touching when I'm grabbing the bike. But uh, it's not something that I cannot uh, pass over. Yeah, I need to mention that riding off-road uh, takes a lot of effort. Uh, your body somehow uh, uses a lot of energy. This I have to tell you before. So before you go to this uh, training or you want to train or you want to go off-road, make sure that you have a proper rest on the day before. Because riding off-road necessitates uh, your attention 100% uh, you cannot allow yourself a moment of relaxing when you are on the bike off-road you just need to be focused all the time all the time you need to be focused because it doesn't matter maybe you think this is an easy one but maybe a grass maybe a rock maybe something will somehow distract you and uh, yeah you're down proper helmet will uh, a helmet which uh, has a proper ventilation it's required when riding off-road we are in April and uh, if you're not on the top of the mountain it's uh, quite hot and uh, we have only 22 Celsius and it's very hot especially because you're riding and you're uh, making a lot of effort I'm using uh, the second gear most of the time. I find it uh, very useful and uh, very convenient, at least for me at this level. Perhaps uh, you could ride uh, even with third gear if you're more, uh, let's say, uh, we have more skills. Let's check out the, the ships for a bit. I feel comfortable on the bike. I feel that I have the control. I'm feeling uh, in control. And uh, yeah, I try to also to enjoy this ride because the purpose of riding is to really enjoy the bike. You don't want to have a you don't want to have a off-road ride where you are stressed that oh man I don't know how to do it or let me focus on my legs, let me focus on my hands. You dedicate your time for training, like maybe I do. But uh, I just want to have fun also. It's uh, quite important actually to have fun because this is the main purpose. To have fun and to enjoy, really enjoy uh, riding. Check out this, uh, this playground, man. It's perfect for beginners. I think it's, uh, it's great. You have different surfaces, you have grass. 
uh, I know a place uh, just a few kilometers with sand let's uh, you see on the grass uh, the stopping power is totally different let's check it out okay yeah so uh, when I'm pushing uh, I don't have someone which is filming me but next time I'm gonna bring the drone uh, when you press hard the rear brake uh, you have a slide of the rear wheel so the rear wheel will slide left and right and you need to control it and the way you control it better in my opinion or from what I've saw on commercials and <laughs> now from what I saw uh, they controlled the rear quite good either with the acceleration or with the body with the legs so uh, okay that's depending but this is the next uh, another chapter this is another chapter I've enjoyed quite a lot this uh, pilot episode from the series uh, Honda Transalp off-road training when uh, where I'm making this uh, off-road training by myself from YouTube videos from uh, friends try to learn by myself how to ride off-road uh, my bike my Honda Transalp 750 it was an absolutely perfect day so far I look forward for the next episodes the next episode actually will be tomorrow where uh, when I'm gonna participate to adventure riders challenge and I'm gonna compete uh, friendly compete an amateur it, this is an amateur competition and uh, I will be the only one with the Honda Transalp 750 from that competition if you have some uh, feedback regarding this series I'm uh, open to to your ideas maybe we can uh, we can also do it uh, your way if your way somehow meets uh, my way so I'm open to some uh, feedback or inputs regarding this uh, how this episode will uh, take here step by step and I'm open to uh, implement them on my future videos regarding this trainings so any idea you have and uh, can be implemented uh, in this series just let me know and I'll do it I have a good feeling that uh, this bike will stay dirty for a couple of months from now on If you have some uh, suggestions, suggest, suggestion, suggestions, suggestion, suggestions. If you have some suggestions, suggestions, suggestion, suggestion, suggestions.